Are you considering relocating to the Raleigh area and you're wondering what a good suburb to live in that's close to the city? Maybe you've heard of Clayton and you're wondering if it would be a good fit for your family. Clayton is a popular place and considered a hidden gem by many. And it's actually the first city that I moved here sight unseen in three weeks when I relocated from sunny Southern California right here to the Raleigh area. So today I'll be going over the pros and cons of living in Clayton. If you want to know more of that information, stay tuned because we're at it next. Hey y'all, I'm Brandi Niemergut with eXp Realty, local real estate broker right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Your connection to all things real estate and all things Raleigh. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn all there is about what it's like to work, live, sleep, play, eat, and yes, everything in between, make sure to click that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. My team and I get calls from people like you every single week that are considering relocating to the Raleigh or surrounding area. All you have to do is give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. jump right on in. So we're going to start out with what some people are going to consider a pro while others will consider it a con and that's the rural feel. Now originally back in 2018 I moved here from sunny Southern California. I lived in an area that roughly had 469,000 people and when I moved to Clayton, sight unseen in three weeks, there was only roughly 22,000 people here. So fast forward to 2022, the population has bumped up to around 28,000. Now again, that's really small when you think Raleigh has roughly 469,000 people. So Raleigh is more what I was used to. So for me personally, I think Clayton really has that rural small town feel. And if you're wanting that country feel where you can drive around and still see the farmland and the horses and the cows, versus a lot of buildings, then Clayton may be the city for you. And as long as you don't mind commuting 30, 45 minutes, up to an hour, depending where in Raleigh or the outskirts of Raleigh you're trying to get to, and you don't wanna live in the hustle and bustle, then Clayton may be for you. But again, if you don't want that 30 minute to an hour drive, and you wanna be part of all the action and hustle and bustle, then Clayton probably isn't gonna be for you jump right on into another pro which is clayton still has that small southern charm feel to it which is what attracts so many people to the south in the first place it has that good vibe when you're walking down the street you look you smile at someone you say hey you want to stop and talk to a stranger ask a question directions or just get in a friendly conversation it's definitely easy to do in clayton that's one of the first things that I found when I moved to Clayton was it was very easy to make friends with the locals, the businesses. It has more of like an extended big family feel to it. So it definitely has that more slower pace of life feel to it versus some of the surrounding suburbs. And Clayton has one of the cutest downtowns. It's happening and hopping for what it is. Um, we love Manning's which has a nice selection between steaks, shrimp and grits, a lot of delicious goodness there. And they even have rooftop dining. Then you also have the Clayton Steakhouse, which is just your standard steak, potato and salad bar, which is simple but delicious. They also have a lot of great restaurants between Mexican food, Italian food. On the weekends, you'll find the local farmer's market if you want a nice cup of coffee by day, you can have that at Boulevard, which is a coffee shop. They also serve beer and wine and have live music on certain nights. So that's a lot of fun. It's family friendly. You can bring your kids and dogs and everybody just walks around and has a great time. And if you don't want to head into Raleigh, but you want something a little bit more fancy, one of the top chefs from Raleigh has actually opened a restaurant here. It's called Crawford Cookshop. 
and they have anything from duck, venison, oysters. So definitely things that you would find in Raleigh, you can find right here in Clayton. So while there's definitely places to go and things to do, there's not a huge nightlife here yet, but it's definitely just enough if you're going out on a date night with friends or with family. Which brings us into our con, which is there's not a lot of things to do as far as nightlife. Just like some of its surrounding suburbs, think Nightdale, Windell, these three cities, there's just not a whole lot. They don't have their own movie theater, they don't have a bowling alley, and they don't have their own putt-putt golf for kids and family. Now you will find a few breweries here, just like all the other suburbs, right? People in North Carolina love their what? Their beer, their bourbon, and their barbecue. So here in Clayton, you're gonna have Deep River Brewing, which is a really cool, chill place with indoor and outdoor seating. They have live music certain days of the week. And then there's Revival 1869, which is a fun blast from the past. I love their uh, little concoctions that they make. They make some old school drinks, new school drinks, and they have a really delicious charcuterie plate. They have an old vibe with the old, um, old time furniture in there. It's just super chill. Then you also have a fun wine and design place, not only for the adults, but then on the weekends, they do things for mom and me classes. So you can also, you know, paint things with your son or daughter. It's just a great time. Moving on to a pro, there's great things to do outdoors, including the parks. If you love to get out and go to the park, check out Clayton Community Park, which is a park with over 42 acres. There's outdoor spaces for the kids to play sports. There's a playground. There's also walking trails, wooded areas. Kids go there to play sports. It's just a lot of outdoor entertaining fun for you and your family. You also have the Clayton River Walk, which is off of the Noose River, and it's a four mile walking path. And it's great if you wanna ride your bike, run, walk your dogs, just enjoy the fresh air. And for the kids, there's a really cute miniature horse farm there that you can go and feed the horses. There's also some farms that you can go to and pick berries. The first year that we were here, we went and picked some blueberries. And then if you wanna catch a show, you can go to the Clayton Center where they do actual live recitals and live performances throughout the year. But again, no movie theater. Now, as far as stores, they do have a Publix there. They have their regular grocery store. You're gonna find Food Lion, Harris Teeter. Now, <laughs> when I first moved here, my realtor was telling me all about Harris Teeter, how I had to meet Harris Teeter, go to Harris Teeter, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't figure out who the heck Harris Teeter was. And I asked her if he was like the mayor or something. And she started laughing and was like, no, it's a grocery store. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm natural. <laughs> Now again, you will find your typical Lowe's. You have a Walmart, but there's no Target. Can you believe that? No Target and no Chick-fil-A. So if you love your Target and you love your Chick-fil-A, Clayton's probably not gonna be the place for you. But the good news is you can hop on over to either Garner at White Oaks to get to Target, or you can head into Raleigh and there's a couple of Targets on your way as well. But if you don't wanna drive, you're not gonna find a Target in Clayton. Next up, we're gonna talk about weather. Now again, depending where you're moving from, weather here is either gonna be considered a pro or a con. For me, coming from California, I consider it a con when it comes to spring and summer. Now, Clayton is known for its hot and muggy summers and short, cold winters. It rains a lot out here, on average, about 47 inches. Now where I came from, we didn't even get 13 inches. So 47 is a lot to me. But again, that's why it's so green and beautiful here, right? And I had mentioned spring. Springtime pollen is not a joke. It's not for the faint of heart. So if you have allergies like me, I used to have seasonal allergies in California. Here, it's year round. And when the pollen comes, you know it's here because for weeks, about three weeks in the spring, you are just gonna see everything color covered in like a yellowish green, just blah. 
And then when it rains, you think you're like, yes, I got rain, I got relief. But no, you just have streams and streams of the pollen everywhere. So definitely be prepared to take your allergy medicine if you have allergies. Now I would say on average, the hottest months is gonna be July. It averages around 88, it can go up to 90. Again, that doesn't sound very hot, but when you put that humidity factor in with the sticky hot, ugh, it's hot, y'all. And in the winters, we can dip down to roughly about 30. So not too bad, again, depending where you're coming from. Again, we don't see a lot of snow. So if you're hoping that there's a lot of snow, you're not gonna find it here. But the good news is, on average, it snows one or two times a year, usually around January, February, if it's gonna snow. We don't get much, a couple inches if we're lucky, just enough for the kids to get excited and then it's gone. But I will tell you, if there's even an inkling that there's gonna be any snow, you're gonna find the schools are gonna close, there's not gonna be any bread at the store, the milk's gonna be gone. A lot of the mom boards joke that people are making milk sandwiches when all this is happening. Um, and if you're like me from other places where it snowed and you just put chain on your tires and you just kept driving or you're you know, from New York or Jersey, you're like, why is everybody shutting down? What is happening? It's just a little snow. Well, out here, they don't have the equipment to actually clear the roads. So between the country roads and not having the right equipment, a lot of people don't wanna end up in a ditch or in the forest. So they just stay put and stay home and they just wait it out. So that could be one thing that is frustrating. Again, especially if you are familiar and used to growing up with snow and you come out here, you'll think everybody's lost their mind over a snowflake. <laughs> now, if you are wanting to have more snow, you're gonna wanna be on the opposite side of the triangle on the Northwest side. Think more towards the Chapel Hill area. But I will tell you, the last few years that we have lived here, there have been a few times that it has snowed. And at my house, I got quite a bit of snow. We, our feet sunk in and we were pretty excited. So I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, but the chance of getting a lot of snow in the Clayton area is pretty low. Now, another pro is it's close to the beach. Now hear me out on this one because depending where you're from, you're gonna say it is not close to the beach. So it's roughly around two hours to get to Wrightsville Beach from Clayton. And if you're like me in California, it took us less than 10 minutes where we lived to get to the beach. So that is definitely one thing that I miss about California is being able just to go for a run at the beach or you know go enjoy a nice dinner or drinks and look at the ocean. You're not gonna be able to do that here. But the good news is, two hour drive, it's still considered a day trip. You can still go up there for a nice day and come back and sleep in your own bed. Now, another pro, which I alluded to earlier, was slower pace of life. And while this is a con for a lot of people, there's many others that are wanting to relocate for exactly this reason. They're wanting more of the quality of life, quietness of life, less hustle and bustle and population. And with 22,000 residents, you're definitely gonna find that in Clayton. Now there is a lot of new construction going on. There's a lot of building going on, but in comparison to some of the big suburbs, like say Clayton, Morrisville, Apex, Holly Springs, it's definitely a lot quieter on this side of town. So if you're looking for friendly people, less traffic, and just a quality pace of life, you may wanna consider this area. By now, I think you're starting to see why Clayton could be a really great place to call home, or maybe not. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button so other people just like you searching and relocating to the area can find this information as well. Now, whether you're considering relocating and finding a home in a master plan development, a condo, a townhome with acreage, or even at the beach, all you gotta do is reach out to us. Let us know what you're looking for, what kind of commute time you want, and we would love to chat. All you have to do is reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.